Hello and welcome back to Jurassic World. Hope you're doing well. Today we're coming in from a slightly different angle into a beautiful looking world over here. Yes, it is looking fantastic. Still got to do something here. Still don't know what I want to do, but that's uh, that's definitely for another episode. So as we come up into the town square, we are greeted with oh, a bustling little square. Wonderful. Really happy with how this has turned out. And uh, yeah, we're going to be working over here. So to the right of our villager trading area, uh, very ugly cloister. Uh, yep, that needs a lot of work over there. Uh, but I thought what we would do is we would put in our blacksmith over here. Uh, we've got our well there. We've got our banner shop with all of the dying facilities. Uh, so I thought, you know, this might be really good as blacksmith. We can have a path coming out this way, heading off over there past our cloister as well. Uh, maybe we'll end up putting a shop over there at some point. But I think here is a really good place for us to put a blacksmith um, be good because at the moment I've got no no smelting facilities whatsoever so uh, yeah it's uh, a bit frustrating when we want to do anything so we will pull in our blacksmith here and maybe we'll do something else uh, with that so that we've got some smelting facilities a bit more extensive than a furnace or a blast smelter or whatever whatever they're called blast furnace is that what they're called uh so yeah that's that's the plan so uh i've got my uh my bits and bobs so let's uh let's start this build so i've now placed down the foundations of this building uh so we've got this left square or rectangle uh is for a blacksmithing area and then the right bit will be for a small shop which will have the accommodation above it and then i've also put in the pathways from a square town square although it's more of a, a circle so yes at squircle uh and then we've got the pathways coming so we've got one going to the back of the house here where we'll have some steps leading up to the second floor and then a uh, pathway coming to our blacksmith and then i thought we could use this as sort of a, a small central area and have the path come off this way one to our cloister and then one off to our port or, or some, something like that i think maybe a port over there uh, and then we can put in a large custom tree here i think that will be pretty cool uh, slightly bigger than uh, the large oaks but not too big so it's it doesn't ruin scale and that sort of thing uh, so I guess, yeah, we, we kind of need to get this built. So let's jump into a quick time lapse and uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see where this goes. So we've now got our stone foundations in and it's looking pretty good liking the look of uh, where it is and hopefully it should look slightly taller so not quite as big as that that's quite a, a big build but at least up to this stage so making our sawmill yeah, as we're coming down here we can see the sawmill in the background uh, but it's not sort of in our faces and just gives us that perspective like that's off in the distance which is cool uh, yeah and uh, I've also texturized everything around the back uh, put in some more blocks around here uh, just where we need to sort of blend it in a bit more uh drop down some uh, bricks there or stone there so it hopefully should look like it was built there rather than sort of just plopped there as a as a, a fully built building so i guess now we we need to start with the wood and the top half of this build uh so let's just jump ahead into that So 
so now our build is all done well all done no the external part of it is all done we can now start thinking about the internal so uh in here uh yeah it, it needs some work so uh in the furnace i've put a campfire and i'm hoping this will work we could just put a magma block like so so you've got the cooler coal or whatever you're using to burn it and then the hot magma uh or yeah hot coals so to speak uh, you could use lava but I think this is a bit more realistic uh, so that's pretty cool and then over on this side we need to start thinking about pulling the interior in so gonna grab our stairs place one there gonna run a couple of shelves that way and then oh bunch that let's put those there get rid of those and then we're gonna have something attached there uh, <laughs> a fence uh, attached there and then I think uh, this one here yeah we can do the same thing there so uh, let's also grab some other blocks so we'll put that one there that doesn't matter so much we'll put a block there uh, no let's put a chest so we can put a chest there and then we'll put a chest there another chest and then we'll just put a barrel like so i think that is plenty of stuff now nah, let's let's go you know what let's alternate it why not nope don't like that we'll go back go back it's the thing with uh internal decoration you have to sort of trial and error a few things so pretty happy with how that looks looking supported and then I guess we need to put in some uh, bits and pieces so uh, some of these items so I think we'll probably have a cauldron here we'll put some water so if you're forging over there and then you can quickly quench it in, in the cauldron uh, to cool down the steel so I'm guessing actually we'll have that there so you can hammer on it and then quench it or back in and then over this side we'll have sort of the uh, items that we may use let's put that there we'll have a blast furnace there and then we'll have a uh, what are these called grindstone and then a couple of snip some sniffing sniffing tables smithing tables do i like that do i like that how about if we put that there and then that there yeah yeah i think that that works for me uh so we also need to get some lighting in here i think so let's grab a couple of lanterns so uh knock that one out and then we can put in a lantern like so uh, then I guess we'll probably need uh, can we think actually let's grab some slabs like so and then we can just bring this one across I reckon ah literally cannot place blocks today what a nightmare All right there we go and yeah we'll grab an iron bar I think I've got one in here or oh, chain yes forgot about chain uh, let's put in a chain there there we go that's brighten that up so be if we need to do it somewhere here but we'll come back to that i think this this area is probably almost there uh yeah okay so we've moved our shulker monster and uh we'll now start placing in some of the external sort of decoration uh so i always like to put on the shutters i think it really does break things up a little bit and then uh, we'll do the same for up top and then 
we'll also place some plants uh, just so that it is acting as a bit of a uh, mob mob protection <laughs> so yeah i like to put and it just sort of breaks up the uh, color around the building as well so let's put in a dandelion and a blue it there we go and then i think what i'm gonna do is just hang uh hang some lanterns on the corner we've done it on quite a few buildings i mean not not easy to get to but it does help just light things up and sort of show you where the buildings are as well so i think it does does add something a little bit different yep okay so that's looking good and then around the side here uh, we need to pull up a railing for this so a nice little trick is to do I, I might do it that way is to use your spruce slabs or spruce trapdoors uh, so you can use these on the outside like so I think it works really well we won't put those we'll put the ones at the top so now we've got that side done we can come around here and it's just a really really simple way of doing it i think nope i was right the first time there we go so we have one here we can just put that there and then pull these up so it's not blocking the doorway so we're not running into it and I think actually we might just do that like so there we go so now we've got our walkway uh, we just need to put the glass panes in here so we can just do like so and then on the back here we'll do the same uh, that's our fireplace so we'll probably cover that up momentarily let's uh oh, I knew I could hear you God. Why, why do they need to be so noisy? That's my thing. Can't they just be quiet, peaceful, not really saying anything? Okay, so there we go. And we just need our lanterns. There we go. Okay, so now we can really start on the inside before we come out and terraform uh, all around this building. So here we go, we have the insides all done. Uh, also textured up our uh, furnace, uh, whatever chimney this is called. So in here we've got our little shop. So uh, we've got a bit, few armor stands, we've got a few wares on the walls got some clippers ready to go and just a few bits and pieces uh, just to make this look a little bit more like it's in uh, as, as part of this blacksmith's so this is the shop where people can come in and place their order and then to get to the top stairs we just go all the way out here uh, so this would be where they live uh, so we've got like a little kitchen area with dining all oh, need to put uh, some signs for the chairs and then we've got a little sort of bedroom here uh, so looking really cool you can look out across the square quite a nice location really like I'd, I'd be pretty happy with this uh, house as a place to live so that is sort of the the build itself done uh, but what we need to do we need to make this blend in with the rest of the world uh, so I'm gonna put in uh, some pathways so I really want to show you how I sort of think about where I'm going to put the paths obviously we have put in these pathway blocks as an uh, idea uh, but let's grab a few blocks and then we can start placing these in with the stone paths we're placing stone bricks as a route that we want to take and then grabbing a load of the other stone blocks and mixing that in making the path wide enough also mixing in some coarse dirt and some mossy blocks as well and then that way it just makes it a really nice sort of blend that it's being traveled it's not a, a 
desan or sanitized uh, palette. It's got quite a lot of color, uh, the green, the browns, and the grays. And then I place in the trees so I know roughly where I want them to grow. And if they grow, I get a few extra blocks. Uh, at the back there, I've also put in a vegetable patch. And then underneath the hedge, uh, I put coarse dirt, as well as some podzol and some brown concrete powder. As underneath bushes, you'll find that there's a lot of brown dirt uh, and that sort of thing. And then working my way around the back, I'm also thinking of a shortcut that people may use uh, to get back to the other path that we have leading uh, to the sawmill. So it's really about adding in all of the blocks using grass, uh, the ferns and the berry bushes just to really add in color, texture and vibrancy. I also like to use uh, birch leaves as I've got a texture pack which turns them sort of the golden yellow. Uh, so pulling that in inside the trees you get little hints of that color there as well. And then also with the dead bushes they're great as well. Just shows that there's a, a little breakup. And then later on, I'll go back through with, uh, with some sea lanterns and some carpets just to make sure that the whole place is well lit and we're not gonna see any spawns happen. So that is the build pretty much there. So as you can see, we've got a nice custom tree with the rose bushes underneath, just giving a real pop of color in that area. Uh, also went round and put some campfires in some of these chimneys. Uh, so now it looks even more immersive. And then over here, we've got our little pot, potted plants on the side of our banner shop. And uh, as we walk down, we can see everything coming into view. We can still see the sawmill over there, through there. So it looks like it's w well off into the distance over there. And again, on this side, as I'm coming around, things are moving in the background. So we're getting changes of or layers of perspective. And then over here, as I said, we have a vegetable plot for our blacksmith. And down here, we've turned it into sort of a bit of a jungle on this side, but where people are sort of taking this shortcut over to the sawmill or to our well, it's uh, it's sort of damaged the ground. So we've not got any grass growing here. We've just got mud and pathway blocks. So it's really sort of giving that immersion out every time. Wow. And uh, yeah, in here, I've also just replaced our magma block uh, or our coal block with a magma block. Just felt it looked a little bit better than uh, than just the coal. And uh, yeah, this is looking really cool. And before we end the episode, I want to run over here. I've been doing some work off camera. That's correct, off camera, but it wasn't uh, mining. We have built part of a wall which is going up or will go up around the whole of our village so yeah join me next time where I'll, I'll show you a little bit more about what we're doing over here and we may even build another building as well for our little village so join me next time out on the next episode of Jurassic's World bye